Hello my lovelies, welcome to day one of our 12 days of Stitchmas. It's so exciting. So hope you've got all your stuff ready. I've got my little box with all my bits and bobs in there. I'm not going to discuss individual kits as we go along because it's all mixed in together now. So the kits I use are from Tracy Fox Creative and go and check out Tracy's website. Uh, there you will get the full list of who is participating every day in her uh, design team uh, advent tags for 2022. I am day 14 and on day 14 I will only use um, the kit from Tracy's uh, latest advent tags kit. Uh, that is my day and I've got ex something exciting, well I think it'll be exciting, um, planned for that. I've also got a few bits and bobs in there from Artie Mays, there's some from My Porch Prince and also, um, yeah, quite a few bits from Rachel at Roxy Creations. I mean, I love her footy cutting bits and bobs. I've just bought some of her labels, I haven't printed them off yet actually. I've only just bought them, the, the Christmas labels, the, the, the really nice ones that I think Steffi uh, designed. Right, okay, day one. Now, what, how the proceedings are going to go is that today, at the end of the video, I will go in the pick jar, choose tomorrow stitch, so you know a day in advance, and also I'm going to be unveiling this year's advent calendar. You know, we had the crackers that wouldn't go bang. And then last year we had the candles, the little candles that all smelt the same. So <laughs> got something hopefully a lot different this year. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Okay then, so I just want to quickly show you. So this is whoever's got day one of uh, Tracy from Tracy's design team. This is your day one page, uh, so please go and check out everybody that's on there. But I've got this printed out because I want this 1st of December. So I don't think that's taking anything away from... I have got a list to print out so I can let you know who's who, but it's all on Tracy's website anyway. So that can go. And I just quickly want to put this on the right. I need to get a bag. Now, also, I will apologise. We haven't got much space this year. I mean, I used to have a, a massive table with everything around me at the bungalow. But here we're limited for space in the craft hall. So I've just got, hopefully, a few bits and bobs that I think we'll need. Okay, now what I've decided with this is the first signature is going to be for our 12 days of Stitchmas. The second signature is going to be uh, for writing in and now that will all become apparent when we get to the advent calendar. Okay, so I've just, I've just put this as my December daily journal for 2022. We are doing the 12 days of Stitchmas, yay! So I have pre, pre um, prepared the tag for that, what I'm going to use for today. There's just, you know, you know, we've got loads of trouble with the camera equipment. We've got loads of trouble with the download speed since we've moved. We have to upload to YouTube all night and it's a nightmare. So I'm sorry that they're going to be short and sweet. I can't craft on the hoof like I normally like to do. But still, we'll have a good bash. Okay, so I think I want it here. So 1st of December, do I want it down there or up there? I think we'll have it up there. I'd already pre-decorated this page ready. So um, I've stamped my angel on there. So I'm just going to put my 1st of December down there. Now... I've got a bit of Christmas tape, washi, that's uh, Tim Holtz, and guess what? My favourite wax crayons back, my fave. 
and wait till you see my new little gadget look at this this is the we are memory keepers oh mini um stapler and it's got coloured staples in it i'm excited for that okay then so i have got a pocket in here ready for the tag so today i am giving you cross stitch cross stitch is in there so it may come up again um, but because i'm i'm going to be drawing for tomorrow's stitch we've started with cross stitch so i've got one of my um tags our pre-prepared tags um and i've made this little topper to go with it so on here i've um, done some cross stitch now i'm going to do the stitch live so every day you will get something you will get the, a live demo of the stitch but the majority of stuff i have to do beforehand otherwise we'd just run out of time so i'm just going to stick that on i'm using art glitter glue i haven't got the space for for a glue book so it's easier for me to use our glitter glue and also because we've got fabric get down there stay down there it'll stick on two now i want that quite far up there onto there and i'm going to um it's gonna go in there like so but i want a sentiment so i'm just gonna see what we've got in the bottom of here in my oh it's it's top heavy it's toppling over oh that's nice merry and bright we'll have that okay and that will go there okay now what i want to do is because i'm not going to use every single page because some have like pre-decorated i am going to put a little tab on the days that we've done stitch miss thought that would just be easier easier to find now why have i done it like that Hopefully I've glued that right. For some reason I thought I hadn't. Okay then, so I will just get my needle out. I've got some lovely um, thick fabric here. I'm eking out the last of my stuff from Rachel. And just send for some more okay then so this is pearly i've just decided i'd use some uh, and it's multicolored pearly thread and i thought we would do now we're going to stick this on the page so we can don't matter we can knot it i thought it would be nice to have it here okay so we're doing cross stitch today now there's several ways I tend to do them all one way, so diagonally, and then I go up to where that ends, and again diagonally down. You can do the crosses all in one foul swoop if you want, but I I tend to do them like this. It just makes it for me it makes me be a little bit neater but you don't have to be we're not we haven't got the embroidery please here for this stitch miss so you can have them exactly how you like them and of course you don't have to have them equal at all <coughs> you can alter the spacing there we go okay and then i'm going to go back along so i'm going across and i'm going to level where the top of the stitch 
goes there okay back up I go back up to level where that stitch ends there and I go down to where that one ends so if you were to follow your lines down they'd be nearly right okay so we've got the bottom there top and then down from there is there <coughs> I'm going to start coughing now <coughs> you don't know how many times I've tried to do this video it's been one of them days just have a drink of water please mm -hmm. keep it rolling if you like I'm just joking joking or choking choking <laughs> okay and if you follow that that's roughly the rule of thumb that you get then get it quite neat now on here I've you know it's a bit more random and I've used six strand uh, cotton on there but I wanted it to look quite rustic but on here we've just got thank you David we've just got a single level of pearly I'll have to put it there I'll have to put it there and hope they're into catastrophe okay so I'm just going to finish that off And then we're going to stick it on our page so it's up to you when you get your stitch how you do it whether you do it on a tag on your page direct um, if you do it as a dangle we'll do all sorts of different things throughout the 12 days also if you use the hashtag stitchmas all in capitals then everybody will be able to see what you've done we can all look at each other's work every day which will be lovely so hashtag stitch miss all in capitals okay so that is my stitch there that's my tag I feel as if it needs a bit of something on there I don't know do I want a bit of washi tape oh no I know what I've got. Got some of me, some of my Christmas ribbon. That's what I'll have on. So I'll have a bit of that. And I'm going to put that on there. Going to put a bit that side and a bit that side down like that roughly just guesstimate where the middle is i'm going to use my new stapler well i'm hoping it can get down there yes another one in at the other side oh it's not gone through both bits that's a bit annoying there we go I like that look I've got pinky red staples in there so that part of the design I like that better you watch be too high now I can't get it in no that's just going to stick out nicely there okay then so this is our day one offering i like that cross stitch there and cross stitch there okay then right pick jar for tomorrow i've got my helping hand my steady santa Thank you. Oh, we better put some sticky on it's top right, of that. It's all right. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> no looking. I'm not looking. I was just thinking we can't advertise what's written on top of this jar. No. Right. Okay. 
So tomorrow's stitch. Oh, I have got some new ones in there, guys, as well. So it's bullion. So bullion knots tomorrow. And uh, yeah, get the thinking cap on about that. So day two is bullion stitch. Now, can I have the advent, advent calendar, please? Hooray! Right, I couldn't resist this. So for those that have been with me a while will know that... <laughs> Yeah, does it need opening? Ah, we'll know that I am a meditation teacher, do Reiki and, and all things like that. Uh, complementary medicine and uh, a lot of mindfulness. And I'm training, at the, I've done training to be a mindfulness coach. And I saw this. This is a... It's from embracingmindfulness.com and I loved it. I loved what the sentiment is. It's signed by this, this jar was packed with care. Best wishes by Nina, a member of the embracingmindfulness.com team. So we're all going to do something from here. So this is what it says. Christmas is a magical time of the year, but it can also be a very stressful time. Before you know it, you are sitting on your comfiest sofa on Boxing Day, exhausted. Oh yes, we know that. And wondering how it is all over so quickly and thinking if you really enjoyed it enough. With so much to do, commercialisation and overeating, it's very easy to let Christmas pass you by. This special advent calendar is designed to bring your attention back to the little festive things you may otherwise gloss over. These little things are important and they add up. Do one a day and you may find yourself enjoying Christmas even more than usual. Isn't that gorgeous? So they're all in here, guys. So, in no particular order, I haven't even looked in among a clue what they're telling us to do. So this is our mindfulness for today. Oh, crikey, there's enough that lovely so what's it asking us to do for advent day one right it said we've all heard stories of christmas miracles and it's a time of year strongly associated with feelings of wonder but when was the last time you felt truly awestruck when you couldn't help but soak up the sheer scale of beauty of something so let's bring a bit more wonder into our lives. Go to a place which has objects or sites of great age, size or beauty. For example, a forest, top of a skyscraper, a museum. Look around you with fresh eyes as if you are seeing these things for the first time. Let the wonder of these things take you over. There are all inspiring entities all around us and the potential benefits of taking time to appreciate them range from increased life satisfaction to a greater desire to help others. So this is day one, Advent day one mindfulness. Go and find somewhere, just even stand in your own back garden or anywhere and look at something that's old and look at it with fresh eyes and see the beauty in it. I think that's lovely. So this is where I'm going to use my second signature. So I've put here, I've done a printed town of Bethlehem. And um, I'm going to, that's my day one. And then I'll write a little bit something on there about what, um, what I've been and looked at. Probably be a lovely tree for me because I am very drawn to trees. Okay then guys, so the fun has started. All the details will be down below. Don't forget to go and check out who's doing Tracy's Tag of the Day. And uh, hashtag Stitchmas in capitals. And tomorrow we're doing Bullion Stitch or Bullion Knots. All right then, my lovelies. Take care. Bye for now.